Good afternoon. He's out. This morning, APS announced that new superintendent Luis Valentino is resigning. This comes as the board was discussing his possible firing. And like the other superintendents before him, he will walk away with a nice six-figure buyout. News 13's Haley Rush is live at APS headquarters with the latest. Haley. Kim, the board reached a deal with Valentino for him to walk away. And after only two months on the job, he'll walk away and collect another $120,000 to do nothing. Now, it took three closed door meetings over the past week to decide Valentino's fate. This is all over Valentino's personal hiring of APS Deputy Superintendent Jason Martinez. He wasn't forced to do a background check like everyone else. Turns out he's awaiting trial on child molestation charges in Denver, where he used to work. When we asked for more details from board members about today's decision, they wouldn't comment on Valentino or say if he would have been fired had he not agreed to resign. But they had plenty to say about Martinez, with one board member even calling him a con artist. You know what hurts is that we were on a path to do some really great things yeah. here in the district, and he, he took that from, from us. APS will pay Valentino for the next two months not to work. That's $40,000 while he's on leave. He'll get another 80 grand on top of that. His resignation is official October 1st. Now the board did name Raquel Reedy as interim superintendent. She's in charge of elementary education at APS. Kim, back to you. Okay, thank you, Haley. Now the board did name Raquel Reedy. For. She oversees elementary education right now. Now, the Albuquerque Teachers Federation was quick to respond to today's decision, saying in part, this has been a difficult time for APS. Public trust has been eroded. APS employees are ready to move forward. Serious issues remain that are affecting APS students and teachers. We expect Acting Superintendent Raquel Reedy to direct her attention to these issues without delay. Now, part of Valentino's settlement included a letter of reference from APS. It reads in part, during his tenure in the school district, Dr. Valentino provided leadership and vision under increasingly difficult circumstances. We found Dr. Valentino to be willing to listen to the opinions of others and responsive in his work with board members. As a result, the board is willing to refer Dr. Valentino for any administrative educational position in a school district. Now, Valentino has until midnight tomorrow to hand in his credit card, key card, cell phone, car, and computer. He has until September 8th to clear out his office. There is much more to this story. We are gathering reaction in the community. We'll have much more later today on News 13 and KRQE.com. Now, we have posted that full settlement agreement if you'd like to read it on our KRQE app.